So today we have the last five gates of Zadi. That's two triangles, two quadrangles, and one pentangle. Now our first triangle, gate number 150, begins in Netzach, followed Zadi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path from Malkuth up to Gedula and follows Venus down the Netzach and then back around. Now this gate is interesting. It has to do with music, with the arts that, that function on the level of emotional manipulation basically. Because that's what music does is it manipulates our emotions. We have an emotional, physiological response to musical tone and musical composition. So, things like music, poetry, uh, fine arts that really bring something to our emotions, not so much the arts that we re need our intellect to interpret, but the arts that grab us internally, automatically. And like I said, emotional manipulation. From this gate, you can learn all about emotional manipulation. For example, uh, listen to any grand piece of music and note how it manipulates your emotions, okay? And the degree to which we can control that manipulation, okay? So our next gate, 151, is also a triangle. And it begins in that side. Well, okay, the next four gates the last four gates of Zadi are all about karmic emotions, okay? That's a concept that might be new to you. But this one is especially, this gate is especially about just pure karmic emotions. And it goes from Netzach, followed Zadi down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path from Malkuth up to Bina, and the hidden path from Bina down to Netzach, and then back around. Okay, these are, well, like I said in the beginning of this talk on Netzach, uh, um, this talk on Zadi specifically, there we have certain emotions that in each incarnation we are capable of a certain array of emotions, a range of emotion that comes naturally to us. And these are, in large part, karmic in nature. It's the path that we're walking, the path that we have been walking throughout lifetimes that has left its imprint on this array of emotions. So, in this case, we can learn all about those karmic emotions, those emotions that are important to our evolution and that form this path that we are following. Okay? Now the next one is the first quadrangle, gate number 152, and it goes from Netzach, down that path of uh, Zadi, Aquarius, to Malkuth, up the hidden path to Bina, this brings in the karmic aspect, down the path of Cancer to Tiferet, and then down that hidden path to Netzach, and then back around, okay? So, <clears throat> These are the very specific set of emotions that we will uh, encounter 
in this specific incarnation. Okay, there are, it's just a little separate from the uh, karmic emotions. It's sort of a subset of the karmic emotions. But the emotions that are important in this lifetime, okay? And it, that's, it's really important to explore what those are so that we can take full advantage of the presentation of those in this lifetime. Okay. The next gate is another quadrangle, gate number 153. <clears throat> and this goes from Netzach down the paths of Tzadi to Malkuth, up that hidden path from Malkuth to Bina, along the path of Tav, excuse me, along the path of Vav, Horus up to Kether, and then down that path, hidden path from Kether all the way to Netzach, and then back around. Okay. Now, these are the archetypal emotions. This goes far beyond the karmic emotions. This plays a part in the archetypes that we really have access to are karmically determined, but all of the archetypal emotions exist in this gate and can be explored in this gate, whether or not they are part of our own repertoire, okay? <clears throat> and the last gate here, gate number 154, is our pentangle. Okay, it starts in Netzah, followed Sadi again, Aquarius, down to Malkuth, takes that hidden path up to Bina, takes the path of Vav, Taurus, up to Kether, takes that hidden path down to Gedula, and then the path of Venus, down to Netzach, okay? And then, of course, back around. Now, this is... divine love, basically. It's what we call divine love. This is basically the function of divine providence, the divine provider that prov provides us with everything, every experience, every emotion that we need, need being the key word, that we need in this incarnation. That's this gate expresses that relationship that we all have with the cosmos. The cosmos always presents what we need in each incarnation. And that's what this gate is all about. Okay, so that, that does it for the gates of Tzadi. Next time we'll start on the gates of Kuf, which complete the 182 gates of the Grod Tree. So, until then, bye-bye.